Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm back with a slightly different video, but it's actually not that different. It's just different because I'm going to be filming it more vlog style. Um, so I'm going to be setting up, this is kind of going to be a series because I've already got another one that I want to do of this kind of thing. Um, but it's basically how to create like a aesthetic kind of setting at home when your home might not be the aesthetic that you're looking for. So today we're going to be making Tashi's Cafe. Aesthetic. Babe, <laughs> why do you always say I say it funny? Is that right? Aesthetic. 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 Yeah, not aesthetic. Oh, it's only because I'm just saying it quickly. No, you always say it. Just that. like aesthetic. 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 <laughs> aesthetic. <laughs> I've got to do all that again now. This is why you shouldn't be in the room. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today I'm back with another video which is a little bit different because I'm going to be filming it more vlog style. But it is basically how to make an area in your house or garden or anywhere more aesthetic. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> okay. <Play there. laughs> how to make an area more aesthetic. Yeah. Um, if like you basically don't like your house. So today we're making Tashi's Cafe. Um, so I'm going to be taking, I've got this really nice garden furniture, like table and chairs, which I really like, but where it is in the garden, just the garden in general is not like my vibe. It's very like loads of brick, you'll see in a second. It's loads of brick, like green grass, brown, like it just doesn't work. So we're going to try and transform it so we can take some cool photos there. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to transform it. Then we're going to take some photos together. And then I'm going to edit the photos with you. And then we're going to see if we can pull this off. So let's go. I'm just going to grab a like sheet. Or like a, yeah, like a fitted, uh, not a fitted sheet. A non-fitted sheet if you've got it. Or a duvet. But something maybe white. But I mean, obviously you could, I mean, this looks, oh. You could use any colour, you could do white, you could do grey, you could do black, whatever you fancy, but I'm going to try and go for white. So I'm going to take a white, probably duvet sheet, because then it's like flat, and I feel like that's going to be easier. So let's get this one, which is probably going to need another wash after. Is that a duvet sheet? It is, right? Yeah. I'm also going to be taking from my room this board here, which looks brown now, but the other side is like a light grey. And this is basically a, what's this called? A plasterboard? Yeah. Is it plasterboard? Yeah. It's plasterboard, it's plasterboard that we got from like the home, whatever it's called, shop. And I use it when I usually film like full length. <laughs> Your feet are just in the, in the shop. <laughs> when I film full length like outfit videos and pictures here I actually put this white well it's not white it's like light grey on the floor because I'm not keen on the dark wood with my concrete wall so yeah the other side of this which we're gonna put out oh god it's really heavy it's actually not heavy I think it's just stuck okay can they just show me the other side so I can show them just flip it down a bit yeah, so you can see, so this side's like a light grey. Um, so yeah, we're going to bring this down as well. And I probably will actually bring some pictures down at some point. And maybe like some plants. Um, maybe this one down here. Or hanging ones, I don't know. I'll bring some of these down to decorate. But I feel like we need to just like set it up first. And then I'll be able to see like what I need to decorate. Okay, so this is the before. So this is the table we're working with. And this is what it would look like right now. So we're going to try and transform this. Transform this into something that can be aesthetic. Because this brick. I really like the table. Um, but yeah, it's just not working for us like this. <laughs>
decent. Pretty decent. Okay, so this is what we have. So obviously it's going to be a tight, it's not tight, but it's a pretty tight frame. Obviously you can't get these sides in, obviously. Oh my god, biggest bumblebee ever. <laughs> that was really big. Um, so yeah, if you imagine it's going to be tighter, obviously this is wide, like landscape. Okay, so we're kind of set up and now I'm just going to go put on like a different outfit and we're going to take some pictures and hopefully they come out good. Actually, I'm going to make a coffee. Pete's going to make me a coffee so I can take pictures with a coffee. So it's real Tashi Authentic coffee shots. Yeah. Okay, so this is the first outfit we're going for. It's this super cute little summer dress. It's actually got pockets, which is really nice as well. I've gone all out and I've actually put shoes on to make it more real. I have my bag. And now we're just going to go grab a coffee. There you go. There you go, ma'am. Here's your coffee. De Paris n'importe bras, bras sur. Ah, j'entends des chansons. Bras de sur. De Paris n'importe bras, bras sur. Ah, j'entends des chansons. Bras de sur. Okay, next up I'm going to shoot this top, so it's this really cute tie-dye pink bodysuit and I found from last year this headband which actually matches perfectly so I thought this could be quite cute. Oh my god, it's so bright I can't even see the screen. This is props for this one, so we've got the, the Vogue Italia cover book. We have a Diet Coke in the bag. I favorited some pictures. Uh, let me just record my phone screen actually and put it next to me here. Okay, so you can see I've gone through and favorited some here. These are the ones I favorited. So this one is okay. I need to do some editing of this situation. And also it's very shadowy on my face. So we'll see what that looks like if I can try and brighten it. Um, same with that one. I don't like my bottom half in this at all, but maybe if I cropped it, it could be okay. Um, yeah, that bit's quite nice. I quite like this, quite a lot of space above me. Um, same with that one, that one, that one very shadowy. This one I think is really cute, but unfortunately you can't see the top I'm wearing like at all, but I actually like it as a photo. Um, that one's all right. To be honest, these ones in this outfit, I found it hard to find ones I liked because I feel like my boobs look really big in the top, which I really don't like. So that was the main reason I didn't like any of those. Um, okay, so first of all, I'm gonna get rid of these bits. So the app I would use to do that is called Retouch, which is this one here. I don't know why my phone keeps like clouding all my apps. Did you see I had to click on it to make it come up? Okay, so retouch albums. I just realized I've stuck up my glasses on my head. Oh well. 
Um, right, favorites. So let's start at the beginning. So this one, so this part here. So you literally would just zoom in. We well, don't have to zoom in, but whatever. Go to it and I go to quick repair and then just brush over it and it's just gone. And like these bits here. Um, okay, so that's that done. Okay, so I'm just gonna do that for all the ones that I need to. And then I just wanted to show you something you can do if you have this situation where say like with this one like maybe we want to have this much room above our head but obviously it's sky so it doesn't work um if you crop it um crop oh it just straightened it for me um, um yeah, okay, I'm not mad at the straight. But then if you want to have more, like above your head, then if you go into this app here, which is Snapseed, which is really good app anyway, but for this particular thing, you go in here, it's always really slow, this one, I don't know why. I feel like this is a trick that you guys might not know or have seen anyone else use. So, oh, which picture was that? I think it was this one, right? Yeah, okay, so we go into this one, we go into tools, and then we go into expand, can you see there? And you can actually expand the picture up. You can only obviously do this if it's a plain, like, <laughs> like that bit was obviously plain, so I can expand it. Can you see, like if I did this bit, it wouldn't work, because like my arm's just gonna get like ridiculously long. So, don't do that there can click done and you can actually go back in and do it again like if you wanted even more room you could just interrupting the video to show you that one more time on a better clearer image so open snapseed and open the photo you want to work with i've chosen this one as it's got space around me already click on the expand tool and then just use the sliders like the edge of the box to expand it as much as you like all around the image obviously on this one i can't do the bottom part but you can do all around me and then just click the tick and then go back into expand and you can do this as many times as you like to get as much negative space as you want for this particular photo so i went back in a few times on this one um to get just like loads of space around me i do really like to have negative space on my feed so this is a great way to do that so this is how it looked after and then this is what it was like before. I think it's a really good way to like have just that extra room around you because I really like having that negative space. So that is a great way to do that. Anyway, let's just put those ones for now into Lightroom. For this one, let's see what we've got. That looks pretty cool actually, you know. I'd probably bring a, bring a bit of the green back in of the bottle area, but I actually really like how Mykonos one looks. But the one I use most at the moment is still Soho 4. Yeah, I prefer Soho 4 because I know that it's gonna fit my feed better. Um, I just need to bring some of that green back in, um, just there because it looks silly being that desaturated. So just maybe like that. And then apart from that, I think that's pretty good. I might just crop it a tiny bit. Um, go to four by five. And let's just bring it in a bit like that. Yeah, like that. Okay, save. Um, okay, and then this one, I'll probably just, to be honest, once you've done it for one photo you can just go to copy settings press yes go back to this one press paste settings and it'll just automatically do it okay these have actually come out way better than i thought when i was first looking through them i was like oh i don't know if these look that great but actually now once you get rid of all the surrounding bits it actually looks quite cool um i think this one maybe i just need to bring over a tiny bit like that okay and then this one paste oh i didn't get rid of that thing here you can actually do it in here with the heel tool you just do a circle around it and then click done um 
Really sky showing there. No, I like the statue in that one a lot. That looks really cool. Okay, let me try the same setting on this one, but I might not want the same setting. I mean, that looks quite cool, but let's just try because I feel like maybe. Yeah, I feel like I might prefer. Oh, Mykonos 3 is quite cool. And it's really brightened up my face. Wow, you can really see like my love lights. <laughs> but it's way brighter. I do think that's quite cool. Let me just try Soho 1 maybe. Oh yeah, Soho 1 is quite nice. Oh, Soho 3 maybe actually. Because Soho 3 is similar tones to Soho 4. But yeah. No, I think I'm going to go with... What was the one I liked? Mykonos 1? No. Soho 3. Yeah, Soho 3. I'm just going to turn that green down a tiny bit in the corner because I'm not a massive fan of how bright that is right now. So just get rid of that a little bit. I mean, maybe I should just smooth my smile lines a little bit, but it's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe make that pink just a little bit lighter. So I feel like in real life it was a bit lighter. Maybe just like that. Okay, this one. Oh, we didn't do the sky. Oh, well. So paste the setting. It crops it out anyway. Um, so unless we want to make it... Actually, we can crop out a bit more and still not get the sky. So I think maybe like that. It's quite nice. Oh, I'm looking at the camera on that one. That's maybe better. And then let's copy these settings over to this one that one's quite cool and I feel like my boobs don't look as big in this one maybe because it's a slightly I'm leaning forward a bit more I mean they still look way too big for my liking but yeah that's better um this one's quite cool oh yeah I like that one that's quite cool but I think I need to crop it slightly different because it's like that yeah that's quite cool i quite like that one my hair looks super shiny okay this one is the one that i was going to crop because i do not like the bottom half like at all like i look like i'm pregnant and about to give birth or something <laughs> so let is let's let's crop that right in maybe even tighter like there I like the lots of space at the top. So yeah, that's kind of cute now. It wouldn't be like a main picture. Oh, this sun. It wouldn't be like a main picture, but for a carousel, like as a swipe, it could be nice. Okay, so this is all the photos that we did in Tashi's cafe. It came out pretty decent. I'm pretty happy with how it came out. Like there's no way I would have been able to get any photos in that spot before doing the cost like making it into a set type vibe like no way would they have fitted my aesthetic or my feed or anything at all so i think we definitely nailed it in terms of that i did take some other ones but they were a bit different they weren't like a cafe vibe i just used the backdrop so if i choose to do one of those then i'll, I'll show you on the screen just so you get an idea of what it looks like but that is everything for this video, guys. I hope you were inspired to create a set kind of vibe in your house or your garden. Um, as I said, I do want to do a part two of this, of just like taking a corner of your house and making it into a photo opportunity. Um, that was going to be the first video, but because it was such a nice day today, I thought I'm going to do this one first and then I'll do the other one after. So let me know if you do want that one. Give it a thumbs up. And that is everything for today. So I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.